Well, you meet this young lady now, northwest of Baton Rouge and of Oils Parish. This young lady is from Plosheville, and she's now devoted more than half of her life to barrel racing, but... When she couldn't race anymore, she transformed herself into a rising star in another unique sport. Here's Craig Loper. I knew I could do it if I put in the work and was dedicated. Sacrifice. <laughs> Commitment. And dedication. <laughs> They're all the terms we hear consistently when talking about sports, but perhaps the sport that embodies those terms more than any other is the sport of bodybuilding. About three years ago, my horses got hurt. That, you know, led to me having to find another passion. Uh, I like to work, and um, my horses, you know, took all my time. It was a full-time job as well. One day I was training in Opelousas, Louisiana, and a lady approached me and she just said, are you a bodybuilder? And I was like, no, ma'am. I said, um, I'm just, you know, I'm just a gym rat. I like to train. I enjoy this. This is where I spend my time now that I don't have my horses, you know. And she said, you should consider competing. Shin Bear quickly found out that the skills she had built all those years caring for her horses were exactly the same she was using to sculpt and mold her own body into championship caliber. From the moment I woke up to feeding my horses, to cleaning their stalls, to exercising them, to bathing them, to wrapping their legs, it was pretty much the same thing that I do for myself as a bodybuilder. You know, it, it took extreme dedication from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to bed. At only 23 years old, she most recently earned her status as a professional figure athlete in the International Federation of Bodybuilding at the Pittsburgh Pro Show at the end of August, placing first among numerous competitors from across the country. I didn't believe it. I really didn't believe it, to be honest with you. I'm still in shock being that it was my first national show. I've only been training, not even bodybuilding, for a little over two years. Training at Max Fitness in Baton Rouge this day, Shin Bear emphasizes that all the hard work in the gym doesn't mean much without the correct nutritional habits. It's a science and one that has to be taken seriously for results. Every meal has to be weighed to a T, have to eat every two to three hours. The level of dedication and consistency was a lot higher. And I had that goal in mind. I knew I was competing, so I had to be, you know, more structured. And if you're someone seeking to live out a more healthy, active lifestyle overall, but not looking to step on a stage, Shin Bear has some advice as well. You can't do enough cardio or training with weights to outwork the food you ate. You have to get your diet right. Craig Loper, WAFB, Nine Sports. Genevieve says she will compete in her first professional show next March in Tampa, and if she wins that, she will qualify for what is the Super Bowl of fitness, the Olympia in Las Vegas.